I'm Andy Sherrod, orchard manager at Royalty Pecan Farm. It's springtime, and that means it's also flowering time in the pecan orchard. That's right, pecan trees do have flowers. In fact, they have two different kinds of flowers. And if we didn't have them now in the spring, we wouldn't have anything to harvest when fall came around. The first kind of flower on the trees is the, are the flowers that produce the pollen. I'm standing next to a Kiowa tree and it's absolutely loaded with catkins. These are called catkins. And all up and down that stalk are tiny little flowers that contain the pollen that's necessary to fertilize the fruiting flowers. On the very same tree, we also have flowers that are going to produce the pecans in the fall. There they are, a tiny little cluster of fruiting flowers. Now, every pecan tree can be classified in one of two ways. One is called protanderous. That's where the pollen is shed before the fruiting flower on the same tree is ready for it. That's protanderous. Protogenous, that's the other word, that's where the fruiting flower, the flower that will produce the nuts in the fall, is ready for pollen, but the pollen on that same tree isn't necessarily ready to be shed. Every single variety is either protanderous or protogenous. Now pecan trees will self-pollinate, but they're not very efficient at it. And in order for us to ensure good fruit set here in the orchard, we have to plant compatible varieties in close proximity to each other. So every row is designated with a color code. This is a desirable tree. There's eight desirable rows. And then right beside me, down that way, the double yellow, those are Kiowa. One is protanderous and one is protogenous. We have to plant them this way in order to ensure good pollination. If we didn't, we wouldn't have those high quality pecans that you come to expect from Royalty Pecan Farm in the fall.